We've got we've got Microsoft Word on the uh, screen. <laughs> Matthew. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, look. Terry, Things can never be easy, okay? Terry versus Instant War. Yep. Oh. Be seeing you lads later. Okay, we have Terry versus Instant War. And Instant War is taking a big lead. Yes, go already. And bye bye. Ooh. Get rid of the instant. Oh my. And just building this big lead already. Hello. For the, we just gonna dash attack. He's be, that's gonna do it with rage. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, the dash attack though. Yeah, firing right back. So, Moksword here down a full stock, but yeah. definitely Ooh. can make something happen. Terry, of course, has a lot yeah. of crazy stuff he can do. And Already getting yeah. something started. 47. Yeah. Trying to go for that. Oh, we're just gonna neutral B. Just gonna neutral B again. Or racking up some good percent here is Moksword. Jab, 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 power dunk, and it gets some more. And oh, Dang, just hard for that. Just that just beat that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna neutral BM for trying to walk into him. Yeah. Oh. oh. All right, Shrado hits it, but now Go is on deck. Yep. If he has one down, so he's basically done. Oh. Get up, Buster Wolf. Shrado reads it. Yeah. Gonna roll. Trying over that down tilt. Oh. Puppy. Not gonna, gonna kill. Uh, coast to coast. All right, so Shrado takes it game one here. What's going on, yeah. everybody? Hello. Good to see everyone. All right, so we'll see here what the counter pick will be from Mopesword. It looks like we are heading to town and city. Interesting. Terry on town. Oh, Toon Link. Never mind. Toon Link. Oh, okay. So that makes a little more sense, I think. Yeah. I was gonna say maybe he has maybe like jab or something. Ooh, yeah. I like the transition. Okay. <laughs> the okay. SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. All right. So game two here. Ooh. Already oh a good start that, here from Mozart. 55 almost had more. That F tilt. Game two, Tink is the Mozart classic. All right, Ryan apparently. coming in with the uh, with the info on the players. Ooh, good, almost a good tech chase, but not quite able to get there in time was Mozart. A little, oh, little blip right there. All right, my Cocom will be going to play, but I will continue to stay here for a bit. The set I am waiting on is still happening right now. So yeah, Mozart here with a really hot start here. Up B, not gonna kill Town right there, saving him just a little bit. Oh, and the trade, a GameStop trade right there for Shrado as Oaksor will take that first stock. And, and when you've got that much of a lead, that's kind of the trade that you can like go for just because you're not in a position where you're gonna die just yet. Shrado though with revenge right here. Early stock could be coming. Again though, just at the ledge, is just doing a good job at holding this advantage, just not giving Shrado time to breathe, almost hitting that back air. Ooh, the up smash will catch the roll with the edge though. Now only an 81% deficit here for the Incineroar. Good wait by Moksword, but not able to get the dash up to the up smash. That tilt at ledge. Ooh, get a great, uh, an amazingly spaced that tilt. Timed that perfectly. Able to hit Incineroar before the uppy hitbox could actually hit him. So, really good right there by Moksor. This game already night and day here from game one. 
Oh, that hit? That is crazy hitbox. Down be good tech right there by Shrado. Able to stop the bleeding a little bit, but looking for the oh, looking for the spike and just taking. I think that might be death, and it is. Gets one hit on the way out. But Moksor will take game two, and we are going to a game three. So the two link right there working out really well for him, it looks like. So game three, it will be for us here. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't jump in the pool of nine. This is ultimate singles. Uh, I believe we're in like round one, round two. So the winner of this will continue on through the winner's bracket. The loser will have their chances in the loser's bracket. All right, well, it looks like I have a set to play, but good luck to both players. And uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to drop a follow if you like the stream. I know I will be. Take it from me. Phenoms where I'm a dad. And we've got we've got mortality on the screen with us now. Ooh, I like that transition. That's cute. We've got Mox, Moxort, and Shrado. I, Shrado is a Charleston player. I think he recently moved from Tennessee. Oh, okay, cool. And Mox, he, he went to high school with me. Uh, he goes to school in Triad. Mm -hmm. tournaments up there. Originally okay, cool. Oh, so we got. Yeah. Right there. yeah. <laughs> misses the uh, misses the F smash there, but uh, going back. To, whoa, Moxie's going off stage, doing some bomb pulls and stuff like that. Uh, trying to get some combo going here. I actually don't know how this matchup goes. I I think the one thing that comes to mind is like when Bowser's at zero percent, you get like seventy up tilts with with doing like it's probably one of the more fun things to do is just like get all those low percent. Oh wow, going off stage with that fair, that fair, crazy me, so good. One thing that Bowser has in the matchup though is I I, I imagine Tim Link has a lot of trouble killing Bowser if mm -hmm. Bowser has no trouble. Yep, that's that's a good point. Uh, it's gonna come down to if Moxie can like not only get that damage, but like set up into something like bomb into forward air, like, try to get something nice like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, bad, yeah. Ooh, doing the snake strat where he's holding shield with the bomb and actually punishes him for it. Doesn't get too much off of it, just just the bomb hit, but. Oh my goodness, double jump there. Oh. Still has his bomb. I don't think he has his jump though. Oh, yeah. Save. Let's save. We, yeah. we needed oh, that. Uh, air dodging he into the F. Just should have went to ledge right there. Oh. Yeah, safer option. Definitely just going to ledge there. Good job. I'm double back here. So yeah, I think Shadow does have experience in this matchup because Sky plays a lot of Especially in a matchup he's not comfortable in. Like Bowser. I remember a while ago that Sky. Uh, was trying out Young Link, and I think they still play Young Link a little bit, yeah. um, if they haven't completely switched, but uh, the Young Link needed a little bit more work, but then the Toon Link came out, and it was just a completely different story. I got yeah. waffle stomped. I don't, I don't know if people still say that, but I like... Remember, <laughs> I, I, <don't> <laughs> I remember he, I read it, he's Young Link game one once, he went Toon Link and killed me at 20 with down air, <laughs> and uh, then he switched to Young Link game three. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Oh my goodness, Shredo. Um, as we can see, having a lot of boxers, having a lot of trouble showing Ooh. Ooh. Good placement of the F-Tilt, though, being a relatively active uh, option for the uh, for the uh, ledge there. Uh, wow, I have never seen Zare stretch out oh. that far. <laughs> Gets a trip? What a... Oh, he barely misses the back here. Very cool. He's picking up kind of a combo right there. Yeah, very sick. Uh, Sequence of events there. That was really. Shrado just has to sneeze in his general direction and he's. And, uh, oh, oops. Oh, oh. oh. Very, but up he sends the wrong way. That would have killed. Oh, unfortunate. Oh. Oh, that reached behind him. Legendary four token box. <gasps> oh! Wow! Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> what an ugly! That was 
That was pretty well deserved. I, that was wow. What a, I, 